All right, guys, what's up? It's Cake here doing a decimal to binary conversion video. Uh, if you found this video through YouTube search bar, you probably already know a little bit about this, so I'm not going to go too in-depth. I'm just going to do the math portion because that seems to be the problem that most people be have, most people are having. Uh, but anyway, let's pick a uh, random number. Let's say uh, 112. Let's say that's the number that you have to convert into a binary I don't know if you can read any of this. Hopefully, I don't uh, completely butcher it up. But anyway, that's 112. Now you're gonna. This is an 8-bit number system, so you're gonna have to put your eight numbers. Uh, if you're new here and you're just you know starting out, you don't know anything about this. Your 8-bit numbers are one, two, four, eight. I can probably actually space these out a little bit more. I'm not used to having this much space. 16. 32, 64, and then 128, and that's your 8-bit number system. You can go as high as like 64, I think. Actually, I think you can go as high as you want, but most people, the highest I've really heard of is 64-bit. <clears throat> and basically what you do, you start off with 1, and then you times that by 2, and then times by 2, times by 2, times by 2, 2, two you know, so, for, so on and so forth. But anyway, uh, after you're done with that, you're going to want to start converting your number into binary. <clears throat> and uh, how you do that is that you take your base number. I don't know if that's what it's really called, but that's what I'm going to call it. This is your base number. Again, that's just what I'm going to call it. And then you're going to look down at your eight numbers. Now, you're going to look. You're going to read this from left to right, and you're going to want to find either the exact number as your base number or less than it. And so far, you know, right now, 128 is your first number on the left. It's higher than 112, your base number. So you're going to put a 0. If something is higher, it's a z it gets a 0. If it's lower, then it gets a 1. So uh, you go on to your next number. 64 is less than 112, so it gets a 1. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take 112. You can put this really anywhere. This is just you know some math. And then you put 64 under it, and you're just going to subtract it, which is 48. And now you're going. This is your basically your new base number, at least for now. So then you're going to see if anything is equal. Your next number is equal to or less than 48. And this is a 32, and 32 is less than 48, so it gets a one. Then you're going to subtract 32 from 48, which gets 16. And then you're going to check back up here to your next number. 16 is the next number, so that's equal to it, which is a one and then you're going to subtract 16 again. Again, if you put a 1 up here, you subtract it from, you know, this number. So 16 minus, I don't know why I put that there. Ignore that little scribble beside 16. You put six, 16 minus 16, which is going to be 0. That's not the neatest, but uh neatest writing, but oh well. And then once you get a 0, all these other numbers are going to be zeros. And uh, then all you have to do, some professors will make you write down this first zero when you uh, actually put down your binary number, but mine doesn't. So it's going to be 112, and then it, in binary, it's going to be 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, there are some other ways to do this. You can multiply and divide, but I find this to be a thousand times easier. I guess it all depends on what you want to do uh, or what your professor wants you to do. Again, some professors will make you put down this first zero, so technically it could be zero, one, 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 zero, 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 zero. But uh, most don't, at least not, uh, at least I've heard of, you know, most professors don't make you write down that first zero. Uh, but anyway, that's the end of the video. I will probably be doing other uh, conversions later on and some more tutorials. If you found this video through YouTube search, then uh, you can subscribe if you want. Uh, at least leave a like or a comment to let me know if it helps you or not or if you need more help. But um, generally what I do are video game commentaries instead of tutorials. I will be uploading more. Like I do upload some every once in a while, but most of it is like video game stuff. So if you want to subscribe, you can, but again, it's going to be mostly video game stuff and not so much out, uh, of tutorials, at least for now. 
I don't know, that might change later on, but you know. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, tell me if it helped you out, leave a like, all that good stuff, and I guess I'll see you next